You see, I told y'all time and time again that this was going to happen. James officially quit Donut Media to start his own YouTube channel. And it's going to be called Speed. And he basically talks about, you know, giving it, you know, Donut Media his best, you know, and shit like that. Finding his fiance, finding his best friend there. His best friend is coming with him. His fiance believes in him and things like that. And basically saying for the last nine years, you know, it is, it's been a wonderful ride, which it have. But you're probably wondering, you're probably still lost in the dark. Why are all these big YouTubers, you know, leaving the main channel to start their own? Well, I'll tell you why. See, when these private equity firms and things like that buy these YouTubers out... Well, it, it goes from being fun to being tasteful. Now, you got to sit at meetings, which you wouldn't normally do, instead of coming straight into work and just getting started on some videos, coming with ideas. No, they're sitting at round tables all day. They're pushing pencils and things like that. You know, it's become more of a business than a hobby, you know. There's no fun left. So instead of having to be told no every time you come with an idea because somebody's in control of the company now, you have to start your own channel in order for you to actually flourish. But I truly believe that the path, you know, Zach Job and, you know, the other guy, you know, chose, I think that was a good option because once people start stumping your creativity, it's just no point in even working for them no more. So even though James is no longer a part of Donut Media, the Donut Media spirit still sp followed James and the other guys. In other news, BBS Wheels and Recaro Seats have both filed for bankruptcy. And I predict it ain't just going to be them. You see, this generation of car enthusiasts, they don't want to build a car. It's just too much, especially with the state of living that a lot of people are in. People could barely afford their house, let alone a $1,500 pair of car seats and a motherfucking $9,000 set of BBS wheels. You see, the dynamic of the car culture has changed. Nobody wants to build a car from scratch no more. Nobody wants to take a shitbox and make it something. People don't care for these these companies enough to actually purchase anything for them. Why? Because you have cars like the 5th um, the and 6th Gen Camaro. You have the Hellcats. You have the Type R Honda Civics. People just People want easier horsepower plentiful horsepower that they could buy for cheap and mod easily it's like why would you spend forty thousand dollars trying to build a vehicle from scratch when you can go get a hellcat that is literally set the bar high as fuck buy one for about fifty five to sixty thousand dollars put eight thousand dollars into it and you have a damn near 900 horsepower beast 